Hi, this is Keith Shabby, your friend in the mortgage business, and today we're discussing termite and pest inspections. What does a termite inspection entail? A termite inspection is a visual inspection of the readily accessible areas of the home for evidence of wood drying insects and wood destroying organisms. The inspector will visually inspect the entire interior of the home, including assessing and under entering any subspace, such as basements and crawl spaces, and exterior of the property. In areas where dry wood termites are prevalent, in houses where there are no sub areas, the attic may also be assessed and inspected. After the inspection has been performed, the findings are reported on the applicable appropriate form. How long does an inspection take? The average termite or pest inspection takes approximately 30 to 45 minutes for a thorough inspection, depending on the size and conditions of the home and property. Can termites live in colder climates? Yes, termites have been found throughout the United States, even in Alaska. Cold weather does not kill them off. Rather, it slows them down or causes them to go into hibernation state. Why inspect the attic if termites stay close to the ground? The termite inspection is actually an inspection for wood-destroying insects and organisms. The inspector is also looking for ants, bugs, and fungus. Sometimes in areas where wood dry rot termites are prevalent, and in houses where there are sub-areas or attics, may also be assessed and inspected. Inspectors routinely look at the attic area for dry wood termite pellets, fecal matter, which are oblong, vary in color from light gray to very dark brown, and are only two to three millimeters long. They generally accumulate on the surfaces or in spider webs near the eaves area of the attic. What do termites look like? Subterranean termite colonies consist of three different castes, reproductives, workers, and soldiers. All the subterranean termites are generally creamy white in appearance and are translucent, looking very much in size, shape, and color as a grain of rice. The reproductives, or swarmers, have a pair of uneven wings and are often mistaken for flying ants. The workers look similar to swarmers, only they are a little smaller and do not have wings. The soldiers also similar and except for their oversized heads and are large, crushing manabites. What is the difference between carpenter ants and termites? There are a number of differences between the carpenter ants and termites. The body shape of the carpenter ant is like a hourglass. It narrows between the abdomen in the rear and the thorax in the front. The body of the termite is more cigar shaped without the narrowing between the front and the back halves of the body. When wings are present, carpenter ants have larger wings in the front and smaller wings in the back, whereas termite swarmers have relatively equal size wings. Carpenter ant wings are less veiny than termite wings. Also, ant wings have a stigma, dark spot on the leading edge of the front wing, and termite wings do not. Carpenter ant antennae are bent and are curved, while termite antennae are relatively straight. Also, termites eat the wood. They tunnel through, and ants do not. How do you treat termites? There are several methods of available to treat subterranean termites. A chemical treatment is the most common treatment type available to subterranean termites. The goal of a subterranean termite chemical treatment is established on a continued termocyte barrier between the, col the termite colony, usually in the soil, and the wood in the building. This is done by placing termocyte in the soil on both sides of the foundation elements to provide a barrier preventing the termites from entering the structure. Technicians trench the soil and inject termocyte beneath it 16 inches in intervals. They also drill into a hollow masonry block wall foundation and inject termocyte into the block voids. This creates a protective barrier around the property. In ground baiting systems are also becoming more popular method for treatment of subterranean termites. A subterranean termite baiting system involves placement of cellulosis, wood material, bait stations at strategic locations around the perimeter of the home, worker termites which consistently forage for wood to feed their colony, locate the cellulosis bait stations, and leave special scent trails to summon their mates to the food source. The cellulosis material as the bait station is that it replaces them with a chemical inhibitor, retarding the moldating process in termites and preventing them from growing. The carrier termites then bring the chemical back to the colony and if everything goes well, spread the inhibitor throughout the remainder of the colony because of the growth inhibitor, the carrier and the rest of the colony will die. Could there be hidden termite damage? Absolutely. 
One of the main characteristics of termites is termite colonies is their tendency to avoid open air and bright lights, meaning they will stay underground or within wood products. It is almost impossible for an inspector to visually identify or locate an, act, an, an active termite infestation just by looking at the finished surface of a wall or accompanying trim. What can I do to prevent termite infestation? The current standard method of preventing termite infestation on newly constructed homes is to have a pest control contractor visit the home and spray a liquid termicide over the entire foundation area prior to the concrete being poured. The building sciences are continually growing, are coming up with new methods of infestation protection. A homeowner could also make a post-construction adjustment of the home that is less conducive to an infestation of wood destroying insects. Common conditions that are conducive to any infestation are earth to wood contract at support posts, cellulosis debris and form boards left in the crawl space, improper drainage away from the structure, and inadequate ventilation in the crawl space. Correction of these conditions will greatly reduce the likelihood of an infestation. Why do I have to treat if there are no live termites. If there is evidence of termite infestation and no evidence of termite treatment having been done, the inspector must report that the infestation is active, which means in need of treatment even though no live insects were discovered. Does the termite inspection cover all types of wood destroying organisms? This depends mostly on the state and local code. Most states use NPCA1 wood destroying inspection infestation inspection reports, which limits its scope to the inspection of termites, carpenter ants, carpenter bees, and reinfesting wood boring beetles. Is a termite inspection included with the cost of a general home inspection? No, it's not. The initial cost of a general home inspection does not include any of the inspections. This is Keith Shabby, your friend in the mortgage business, discussing termite and pest inspections. Thanks again.